I'm Rashard Fagans, uh, owner of District 7 Apparel. And basically uh, what District 7 is, is just a clothing line symbolizing that drive and symbolizing that creativity. So if you're doing something cool and creative for yourself, the community or your family around you, then you can essentially be a part of my brand. I just want to welcome everybody to the launch party presented by District 7. The motto of the brand is join the neighborhood. You guys are all here and you came out. This is the neighborhood and you guys are the supporters and you guys are the family. So I'm glad you guys came out. I feel like my brand is almost a sense of like a friendship. So uh, me and my best friends, we do music. We hang out all the time. We go check out uh, new spots and places to go. And I really want to grasp the music culture because the music culture in Chicago and all over the world is taking over everything. Welcome to the lock, wood with them fires burn, no main girl, but hella else burn that back seat, she get tongue tied in that trap spot, she get certified like papers in our office, my it's just hop up off it, Willie, I'm got the There's been a really huge influx of like artists coming out and expressing themselves and the music is keeping people going, it's making people have faith in the city they live in. So I feel like my brand is is one of those brands that'll that'll be the helping hand. At the time during Projectus, it was a time where I was just learning. I kind of got an idea of what it's like to design. Now I'm actually taking what I've learned and using it in a more professional way. A lot of uh, the kids and the people that are part of the program come in because they want to get to this point. Richard is going through all the steps really to learn, you know, the process of creating and building a line. And this is kind of the end result. All right, and the last award for the Commonwealth Fashion Fund 2015, Richard. After winning a thousand dollars from uh, the Fashion Fund Award from Projectus, I pretty much used that money to get uh, licensing for business. And then my mom is actually, as my partner, she's helping me do a lot of things. I want to get more investors in the future. Uh, that's that's something I'm really looking into. But for right now, we're kind of doing it as a home-based business. All right, we have the long sleeve uh, tees three out twenty-eight. We have the regular tees now twenty-five. We also have I'm trying to get consumers to come in and I'm looking at different marketing strategies and how to get my brand to be one of the top brands in Chicago and making my company something bigger and making my dreams actually come true. The mold of the brand is essentially changing. There are a lot of high fashion designers out here, not to knock them or anything, but a lot of kids are going to the more street level clothing lines because they know that it's more accessible and they can afford it. So for me, branding is just the way that you carry yourself with your art. So my brand is pretty much grassroots. That's, that's what a brand to me is. It's, it's a grassroots organization. I'm not a big talker, but we just gonna get into this and, we, and I'm gonna let you see what the, what the brand is about in the neighborhood you just joined. So welcome to the neighborhood. Any waking moment that I have to build my brand or learn something new about the way I'm marketing or the way I'm designing, I'm going to take it because I've wanted it for so long. I'm just really focused on success and really focused on making those around me better through things that I do. So that's, that's essentially the plan. Mm -hmm.